Yes, that's a hard foul. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Well, here we are, my dudes. We have at least qualified for the first knockout round of the Europa League. With a victory today, we can get into the second knockout round, though. But we got to beat Lille. Well, my dudes, we're not back at the matches yet, but there, there's a bit of bit of there's been a bit of news that's happened, and and the guys in the Discord, they already know what's up because well, we we post some spoilers in there and uh, ask for opinions, and that way we they, they, the big time fans can really really influence the save you know so if you want to influence the save that is one reason why you should join the discord you can get your opinion heard by me and uh really help decide what we do in the journeyman sevilla has came in and offered us a job interview so we're gonna go ahead and do that today um I'm not 100 percent like sure what i want to do with this but i do want to do the interview you know i think that's a good thing to do so uh yeah great to be here let's get it started mm-hmm I've experienced another. I've experienced in other countries. I spent the majority of my career at smaller clubs, building them up. Mm -hmm. uh, there were no problems in the in the locker room. Promise that it happens one time. It happens one time at Ashdod. At Ashdod, and, and it's something that's never forgot. Just let it forget. Forget it. I mean, we've been at what two clubs since Ashdod, and everything's been fine. Everybody's loved me ever since. Uh, yeah, I. I, I Healthy locker room. We're good with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fans love me. I, I'm, I'm a big deal. It's all about motivation. That's what gets the job done. I love Raul. He's 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 amazing. He's a great play, great guy, great guy. I have no idea who that man is. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I don't. That's fine. All right. So what do they want? They want us to play attacking football. They want us to sign Spanish players. Uh, sign players under the age of 23. Uh, make the most of set pieces. Work within the payroll. Four-year contracts for first team, and then uh, one year for players over 33. So this season, they want us to uh, be competitive in the Champions League. Uh, top half in La Liga, uh, fifth round of the Copa de Rey. Uh, I think, I don't know if that's still happening. Uh, Super Copa, uh, that, that's not important. Seems That yeah, seems fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can do that. Yeah, def I, I, yeah we can do that. Unless that's more than our, uh, yeah. Yeah, hey, that's fine. Good God Almighty, we're talking about some money. Uh, no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. That's everything we need. You know, uh, it's it's interesting, right? I want to take a look. So, club info of where we're at now. Uh, we we Rapids never really won anything. The highest award that they've ever won to me is is the Bundesliga. You know, I, I really think that the, the, they won the Bundesliga. That that's their biggest biggest thing and when i say the bundesliga i'm talking about the german bundesliga so that's their biggest thing go look at sevilla and uh yeah they, they've done a little bit more haven't they they've won the la liga once they've won the super cup once seven europa league titles uh one conference league titles and uh yeah i think i think it's just it's not a bad decision is it let's look at this um they're rich their bank balance is looking at 44 mil they got 398000 in terms of value. What do we got? I didn't mean to click it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, this is a much bigger club. You know, obviously it's a much bigger club. And, and that's what the journeyman is about. We wanted to spend some time here, settle down a little bit at Rapid. We've almost made it two full seasons, right? Promise, we're going to settle down and manage at a club pretty soon. I, I didn't plan on trying to leave. Obviously, we haven't even got the job yet. So we can't really say that just yet uh but it is something that we have to you have to think in the future you know we came here just to develop ourselves a little bit i feel like we've done that we're now sitting at what a three and a half star manager yeah we're three and a half star manager studying for our continental pro we're getting real real close i'm, I'm interested in this job i really am i think I think it's a good move. I, I do think it's a good move. It, is it sooner than what I wanted? Yeah, it is. I wanted it at least get through the end of this season. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen, does it? But yeah, it's 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 just good. We're, they're currently sitting in eleventh. They want a top half table uh, finish. I definitely think we can do that. I would I would 
I would hope we could do that at least, you know? I mean, it's a big step forward. A big step, big, big, big step forward. And I've never managed in Spain, so that would be fun. Uh, I really don't know much about La Liga, to be honest with you. So top three, top four go to Champions League football, uh, two Europa League spots, and then uh, one Conference League spot. Okay. So maximum of three non-EU players. Maximum of 20 five players okay and so players on a free can be signed at any time I mean their 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 uh minimum wage in the league is like what our top is at rapid I just think it's a good move how many uh non EU players do they have it's not what I wanted I wanted to go back to uh Sevilla where are they at? There they are. So they really don't have like any, any guys that are foreign players, do they? This guy right here, though, what about him? I bet he is good at me. I bet this dude, another number 10. I would, I really want to get away from playing with number 10s. I want to do something different in this next tactic. Um, uh, a two-star rep world reputation at the age of 19. Like, you know this guy's a good player. Like, just a, a really good player. Let's look at the under-19s. Under, under okay, okay. There's not much in there, but... I mean, like that guy right there, he's like a two-and-a-half-star player for us. I bet you that guy's really good, though. A guy that we'll probably build around in the future is this guy right here. I, I, I really believe that. In determining what he is... I'm I'm acting like we're getting this job. I'm not even certain I want to take it, but I'm leaning more toward it. Um, I don't know, guys. I think it's a good. I just think it's a good move. But up today in today's episode, we got Leal and Red Bull Salzburg. We're not just checking out yet. We've still got a couple of games left this season. Hopefully, getting out of this group stage, which we we have, we've qualified for the next round, which is nice. But but we can qualify for the second knockout round instead of the first knockout round with a win in today's episode. Well, it's been quite a few days since our interview with Sevilla, but I did want to point this out, okay? Did want to point it out. We are wanted by them. So typically what I have learned uh, during these journeymen, when, it, when this pops up, there's a high likelihood that they will come after you, right? So... I believe that we may get an offer from them to uh, take over. And uh, I, guys, I know what we've bounced around in this journey. We really haven't settled down, right? But this to me is a massive, massive move, okay? Uh, you, you just got to do it, I feel like. Uh, we are not favorites for the job. But like I said, when, when, typically when you see that wanted icon on, on, by your manager, uh, it, it means that you're you're wanted by that club to become their new manager. So uh, we may end up taking over for it. Uh, I would have preferred during the interview, looking back at it, that they would have asked us, hey, uh, when do you want to take over? But we didn't get that question because I would really like to finish out this season with uh, with Rapid. But if the job comes available, guys, I, I feel like it's just in the best interest of us as a manager. I, I'm scrolling up to see. I can't see. Oh, we're way, 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 way down there. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I, I think I just think it's in the best interest of us to take over for that job. You know, it's you, you've got to right. It's a it's a massive, massive, massive job. I mean, look at this. Look at that, four and a half stars. You, you've got to do it. it. It would be stupid not to. And in, in, in spirit of the journeyman, we typically try to make moves that make sense, right? I know you can kind of question the move from uh, Valmiri to Ashdod, but it got us in such a higher league. Yeah, we took a pay cut. I understand that. But it, it was a massive jump forward. And then the Maccabi Tel Aviv job, a massive jump forward. And then Rapid gets us into a better league. We earn more money. And I feel like with Sevilla, it's it's going to be more of the same. It's going to be more money, you know, a bigger contract for us, a big, big, big league. And uh, it just makes it makes the most sense. I do want to see, though, uh, where, okay, yeah, it's second. I mean, it's the second league in this safe. You've got to make that move. You know, you're stupid as a manager if you don't. It's a mid-table team right now that you're taking over for that's had huge success. So uh, I do expect something to happen on that front at some point. 
may if not in this episode in the next one uh I'm, I'm just not certain sometimes it takes a little bit of time for them to come around uh but you just got to do it you've got it you've got it you've got to take over and do it and it'd be fun to go up against barcelona and, and real madrid and atletico madrid uh i think that would be that'd be fun i've never managed in spain before uh be a new new challenge for us and yeah, it, it, as a manager, you've, you've got to look to keep moving forward, and, and that that is the next step, you know. Uh, up today, though, we've got Leo in the Europa League, where we could potentially, if we win, move into the second knockout round instead of playing in the first. And then after that, it's a, it's a top-of-the-table clash between us and Red Bull. We have a match in hand. It seems like we've had a match in hand quite, quite a while. Getting into the training, or, or getting into the recap, let's look at training to start with. Uh, Kuhar sits atop 10.0. Suma, 10.0. Uh, Smith, Akuna, Steve, uh, Nicolau, Kaloon, Pays, Vinoli, all rounding out the nines. Uh, yeah, I got something to discuss as well. Uh, Luca putting out a 6.75. I mean, guys, he just came back from a big injury. But speaking of injuries, speaking of injuries, two weeks potentially for Nana. He had, had a great match in the last episode. Gets banged up real quick in the first uh in the match in between and uh he was putting out a solid rating he's got a damaged foot so um yeah we're still having some feet problems here at rapid uh sahin and plavotic the other two and then patrick out one to five days with a pulled ankle ligament so gonna be without two key players today gonna be without two key players uh looking at what has happened though what did we do we beat austria vienna three two this was a bit of a weird one guys uh came back uh late to win this match um uh, nose bomber gets a brace pies gets a, a goal as well we're, we're playing a little bit rotated but it was pies first goal can't believe that to be honest with you guys but yeah as you can see nana put out a 7.0 before getting hurt let's take a look at the match i, I did play a different tactic we're going to go into that in a little bit but uh we, cr we created opportunities it's xg of 2.7 the defending wasn't great again mantle and ulman not not really living up to what they can potentially do for us Taking a look at it, let's let's get into it. Smid came in and put in, out a 7.3, so I do believe Smid will be the starter going forward in place of Ullman. And here is the first one. Uh, Austria Vienna get us started early here. Kloon with a tackle that was that was pretty dang hard, wasn't it? And uh, kind of just fell at the foot of the attacker there and goes in. Here's our equalizer, Steve Denuzbomber, who turns and just shoots. Denuzbomber, I've mentioned this guy before. He's, he's kind of... Uh, He's an odd little guy, right? He can score goals for us, but we don't play him a ton. And here is where Austria Vienna go up 2-1 at this point. Uh, I'm a bit fuming at this point, bit fuming. And here is here's our equalizer to make it 2-2. Pais' first goal with the club. He had so many opportunities from that same shot. And uh, that was the first one he got in. And here is the match winner right here. Nuz Bomber once again on a brace here. 3 to victory over our local derby austria vienna nice nice to beat them i mentioned we, we've changed the tactic up and, and i've done this for nene i was really impressed in the last episode with how he came in and played as our false nine and, and absolutely dominated this match right so uh, i was like hey let's play with a false nine let's play with the poacher as well uh hope has decent finishing so he can kind of do that for us and uh then he gets hurt so it's a bit disappointing it really is uh, we're, we're playing shorter passing. I know we was a little bit more direct in the last one. Uh, and we're just trying to, you know, create opportunities and uh, see if Nene could have got something going for us, but got hurt. Uh, it looks like Steve is also suspended for this match against Lil. So very nice. Uh, very nice. Great success. Uh, I, I don't know what to expect from this match. Last time we played Lil, we, we, we challenged them, I felt like. But uh, ultimately, they was the better side. What was that final score? It was a 3-2 defeat over them. So, um, yeah, let's hit quick pick and see what, what's what's a said. So, uh, Kuhar there. They want Kaloon up top. Kaloon can play as a striker. He's got 10 finishing. Uh, not exactly what I would want. How is Hope's finishing? He's got 11 finishing, so not much better, really. Um, and, and not a great first touch. Hmm. That, that injury really, really sucked, didn't it? What what about Poacher? How, I mean, yeah. hmm. Is Kaloon the better option at Poacher for us? Seems like he might actually be, right? It helps if you go to the right the right position. Uh, 
Uh, he's got better first touch, uh, a little bit less on finishing. His heading's a little bit lower as well, but uh, could could potentially do something for us. He's wanted. Okay, okay. Uh, you're definitely coming off. Uh, I also, also changed our right back to play as an inverted wing back. Uh, it's kind of so he can occupy this space right here because it's going to be void when uh, the Mazala center mid moves forward. So that, that's, that's the idea there. I think that'll work out for us pretty well, but... Uh, I kind of want to change it up just a little bit. Let's change this on next match only. So, uh, so yeah, it doesn't really affect us. And you go to defend. Uh, I want Shirabi out there. Shirabi's wanted. Who, who wants my boy Shirabi? Get get out of here. You, you can't have him, okay? He's going to stay here until I leave. I can't put anybody else on the bench, unfortunately, because, well, we got injuries. Uh, Patrick's injured, and he's on the bench. David's injured. He's on the bench. Yikes. Not, not, not exactly what we want to see there, is it, my dudes? But uh, let's go ahead, get into the match against Lille. We got Mantle in goal, back four of Shirabi, Dominic, Suma, and Smith. In the midfield, Nash Berker and Akuna, right-hand side, Vinolia, left-hand side, but Pays up top, Kuhar and Kaloon. Uh Kuhar can do a false nine pretty fine, pretty pretty good, pretty good. He's pretty good at it. His uh, finishing's a little bit low, but, man, his first touch and dribbling. This kid has has potential. If we could get that thing finishing up just a little bit, honestly, if, if that finishing could go up to a 10, I'm I'm good with that. That's, that's nice. But, unfortunately... So I haven't had that happen yet, have we? Uh, I feel like him and uh, Akuna are probably the two guys that I'm most interested in taking with us to another club uh, from this one. Smid, you can make a shout at Smid. Uh, I feel like if we would have one or two more seasons, this guy right here would definitely be one of those guys you would want to add to your youth teams. Maybe a guy that we, we put on our short list and see how he develops, and if he develops a little bit more, we may bring him in as like a reserve player or something like that and see how he develops at our next club. Uh, yeah, let's do it, guys. Leo, tough match. Tough, tough match. Yikes. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, the media's been giving us a lot of credit, guys. Let's get out here, get this done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we're going to pay close attention to him. Yeah, uh, I mean, in, these things happen. Sometimes changes have to have to happen due to injuries and stuff like that. Mm. Hey, they're a capable side. We all know how good they are. They're, they've got quality in, in all the key areas. Let's go ahead and turn ourselves on. They come in in pretty good form. They haven't lost a match in their last five. We come in pretty good form as well. Four out of our last five. That's the thing. Like, this side hasn't been good this season. We've said that many times, right? I've said it countless times how bad we have been, especially in the attack. But we keep finding ways to win. Hopefully, we can do that today. All right. I did want to check something before we get this match started. Didn't we have him at Darby? I believe we had him at Darby. Thanks so. Thank you. He was at Darby County in my Darby County save on FM21. Uh, could be wrong on that. Let's get it out. Let's get it though. All right. Young boys in Molda today. They, I mean, that, that's, that's a, that's a tough, tough matchup for those two guys. Uh, I feel like those teams really, really just didn't, I mean, we didn't thrive either. Neither one of uh, us three teams, we just didn't score a lot of goals. Uh, fortunately for us, we, we got the right points out of the matches though. Uh, that being draws or, or getting the one win. <laughs> so, but I, I want to see a better performance from our side today. You know, did I put Smith in? Did I put I think that Smith, yeah, I did. Okay. I was about to say that looks like a like a new gen guy right there. Mantle keeps allowing goals, guys. He keeps allowing them. He's, he's allowed a lot of late. Uh and he he was really, really dang good beforehand. It looks like Lil's gonna get us started here. Yep. One nil. He was mentioned before. Scores on us here. Jonathan David played a beautiful ball to him, too. Mantle out of position. I, I haven't been... He's, he keeps coming wanting a new contract. I tell you what, in the next match, he... It's it's tough because Lervik, I don't feel, is ready for the match. But I feel he, he potentially could be better than Mantle. Um, if we was playing, like last episode, if we was playing like all tech next, right? I, I probably play Lervik in the next match just because I haven't been really impressed. That's a hard foul. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Pause the game. Guys, guys, we have been so unfortunate with red cards, right? It never fails. Whenever a red card is produced, I go attacking and we get beat, right? That being said, we're going to do it again today. Definitely going to do it again today. Uh, 
that, that's, that is a, a big, a big, big boost for us to potentially, potentially try to get into the second knockout round. Zoom out a little bit. Poor ball by Smith. Throw that in. Just gives it right up. Lil now in possession. Uh, Shirabi has a nice little tackle there to stop that. Nashberger gets on it. All right, we can zoom back in now. Finoli playing it forward. It looks like he was looking for Kaloon, but uh, yeah, played that ball a little bit too far in front. We're going to drop a little bit of encouragement on the guys. Guys, they're down to 10 men. Let's go. Let's get an attack going. Everybody's excited except for Mantle. He's not excited at all, is he? Goodness. All right. Lady Luck, please, come on, be with us today. FM22 has not been kind to us with, with red cards. It, it never fails. We never produce anything out of them. Uh, and this is a match that, that we kind of have to, really. Demand more? I'm just trying different things. That didn't work. Didn't work at all. Nashberger and, and Kaloon didn't like it. Mantle's a little bit upset as well. Uh, yeah, this is disappointing. Disappointing. I mean, you think you we could do, be doing better. Okay, highlight. Maybe we get an actual opportunity here. We haven't seen an attack yet from our side. Do we see it here? Smith is on this. Plays it over to Kuna. Tries to get that over to Nashberger and can't find him. And now it's turned over. Counterattack started. We got to do the defending, guys. Got to do it. Got to do the defending. Got to win this ball. That'd be... Kaloon, to... hey, I said it. I should have said it sooner, shouldn't I? Kaloon, win that ball. There you go. He's got Kuhar on the run. Kuhar. Let's go. Ninth of the season. Kaloon on the assist. You know, I, I kind of thought Kuhar would be creating opportunities for Kaloon. Well, it's, it's quite the opposite there. Kaloon creates an opportunity for Kuhar, and we tie it up 1-1. One, one. Okay, baby. Let's go. I mean, he almost missed it. <laughs> to be real, it wasn't a beautiful finish, but he gets it done. But I was about to say, you should be happy now. We've leveled on, we're level now, okay? Okay, there we go. Let's get excited, guys. You know, I thought we could get to the second knockout round. We can't, can we? We can't. I don't think we can, even if we win this match. But I still want to win it. We're still going to go for it. Uh, we'll put you on support. You can go on attack. Let's get out there and get it done in the second half. I think goal differential is what's going to keep us. Yeah, yeah, a goal different. We're not going to make it to the second knockout round, but math. You know, math. That's pretty obvious, Breck. I got excited thinking we could potentially make it. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, does it? Another attack. Another. Come on, guys. Let's get let's, let's get the victory, though. The money would be nice. I mean, I know we're not going to make it to the second knockout round, but certainly the money would be nice. Short tires playing for him. How did that happen? Just to, just a free transfer. That's that's how it happened. All right. Rather, I mean, just rather let him go than than sell him for anything. You know, that's how FM goes. Okay, we're about to make some changes, especially on that left hand side. Um, what's his face is getting a little bit tired. Pais, uh, probably hope come in for him. Uh, Hope's really good on that left-hand side. I mean, he's not really good, but that's that's where he wants to play at. Mantle has to save it there, doesn't he? He does a good job of tipping that wide. A uh, little bit of space there for Lil to create something. Corner kick up coming for him. Sent into the box. We clear it out. Suma does a decent job. It's still very threatening, though. A lot of space on that left-hand side. We do a good job, though, closing it down. And now they try to go across the pitch to the right-hand side since we closed down the left-hand side. Surprised that highlight carried on as long as it did. All right, it's time for a change. Uh, you're coming off. Hope's coming on. Do I see anything? I mean, like, there's not much we can really do due to, due to the injuries that we've got, you know, uh, especially in the attack. Especially in the attack, which is which is a bit disappointing. It's very disappointing, actually, but it is what it is. Do we drop encouragement on the side? I think we do. I think that might help out. Just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Should have done it sooner. Should have done it sooner, shouldn't I? I think in the next match, Shirabi will slot in in the center back position. Uh, Nikolai will come out and Sumo will have a break. Uh, we want to keep some guys rested for these upcoming matches. I know it's dumb. I know it is. 
but I I've got to do something, don't I? That way they maybe that way they stay here. You know, they kind of stay back a little bit, but there is a little bit of space. Uh, we've moved Akuna and Ashberger up, try to get something out of this match. Uh, it just doesn't seem like we're going to win it, does it? It's a bit disappointing. They're a good side, better than us, obviously, but... I mean, we could make a change, but I don't really have anybody I trust, you know? Just don't have anybody else. You would think a highlight would happen. You would think a highlight would happen after moving this much into the attack. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Looks like we're going to get the draw against Lille, which is disappointing, but now that I kind of learned that we wasn't going to actually make it to the second knockout round, it's not not as bad. But we've we've got through the group stage, which is nice. Kuhar, uh, 7.5, pleased with his performance today. The defense, uh, Shrabi done good. Dominic Suma done well. Smith didn't do good. Mantle, a uh, bit disappointed in that goal he allowed. But, you know, we didn't get the result today, but we did create some opportunities. Let's, let's move on to the next match, see if we can beat Red Bull. Uh, I do expect some changes to be made. Mainly because, well, fitness, and I'm and I'm kind of focusing on the Europa League at this point. We won the league last year. You know, it, it would be nice to actually do something in the in, in international competition for us. So we get get a little bit of money there. 179 for that, 427 for second place, and 106 for the uh the prize money. So uh up next though, we got a fun one. Got Red Bull, Derby Day, and top of the table clash. Maybe we can pull it off. Well, I didn't rotate the side that much, right? And, and the reason for that is, well, we're have, about to have a break come through. So uh, a little bit of a winter break so some guys can get rested, which will be nice. Uh, we, we did rotate just, just a little bit, not much. Steve has came back in the lineup. Uh, Hope is up top. Kaloon slots out to that right-hand side. Uh, I, I, I came really close to playing Nussbaumer in this match because he's been really good. That being said, I think, honestly, what I'm going to do is we're going to swap those two, and Akuna can play as our deep line playmaker. Uh, no, we're not. He, he's a little bit tired as well. I just noticed that. So uh, we are going to have to rotate this side a little bit more than what I wanted to. We, we've just got tired, guys. And Nikolau is suspended. So that's that's an issue. So I guess we're not going to take out Suma, uh, unfortunately for us, because... Plavotic's injured, and uh, Nikolaus being a bit suspended, we don't really have another right-back option. Obviously, Ullman can slot over there, but haven't been really impressed with him, so I don't want to give him the benefit of actually playing in this match. Uh, we're just going to have to probably make a change at some point with Shirabi moving in for Suma and uh, Ullman coming in later on in the match. We do have B-Sold on the bench, a guy that I am interested in playing a little bit, uh, mainly just because I think he's a good player. But uh, he, he's been injured, you know, his fitness is, it just hasn't been the right time for him, unfortunately. And guys, guys, we, we've got some fun stuff coming up. We got a draw after this match. Transfer window's about to open up, I do believe. So that's going to be good. I'm scouting for some strikers. I want to find a striker that actually has some good finishing. Maybe, maybe, especially if we continue to do this right here, where we have two up top, we can have somebody playing off of uh, Nene when he comes back. But we got Mantle in goal, a back four of Shirabi, Dominic, Suma, and Smith. In the midfield, Steve, Nussbaumer, right-hand side, Kulun, left-hand side, Pies, up top, Kuhar, and Hope. Let's do the thing, guys. Red Bull, let's do it. Yeah, I know I know the, we could be exposed at the back. Just, you guys tell me that, but I, I'm fine with this, okay? Uh, we've been on a good run lately, guys. Let's let's get out here and do it. I uh, hope. I want to see a good performance from you today. That didn't work. Pies, I want to see a good performance. Yeah, I got him motivated. Kulun never liked you anyways. Nussbaumer. I want to see more of the same. Didn't like you anyways. Dominic did, didn't work either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always look forward to this one. I look forward to these matches as much as everybody. You just basically asked me that same question. I, I mean, honestly, uh, you, you don't really do things. I, I go about my usual way. I fully understand that it might all go out the window after a minute of play, though. I, I don't know or care how he's handling it, to be frank. Okay. Big match, guys. Big, big, big match here. Let's do it. Let's get it underway, guys. All right. I mean, a draw is not the worst thing. We've been we've been scraping by of late, and uh, it, it might be one of those matches today. I'm not sure. I'd like to see a good performance from Nussbaum. I, I mentioned he's been really good, really good of late. So it'd be nice to see him perform. Ooh, 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 yeah. Hikes. Talk about coming in with some velocity. Red Bull take the lead. One nil. 
Well, all right, that's the way to get it started. Smid comes up, it looks like. That's not Smid. Who was that? Steve came up. Okay. That's tough. Drop a little bit of encouragement on the side. Just allow a goal. Of course, Mantle's going to allow a goal. That's that's what always happens with him. He allows them quite a bit. Quite a bit of late, you know? It's, it's been frustrating. It's been very frustrating with him. We drop now down to second place. Red Bull deserve it. This year they've been better. Uh, looking at the cold differential, but yikes. I can't say anything to the guys. It doesn't work. Uh, demand more? I mean, it's funny because you get some guys motivated and then like the other ones, it's just like, Dang, I don't want to deal with that. Just looking at you, Smid, and, and you too, Hope. 30 minutes is about to be down and uh, yeah, that's not the way we wanted to start this match. That's a bit frustrating. bit frustrating, my dudes. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Suma now in possession. Mm hmm. Plays it to Steve. Back to Mantle. All right, we're playing from the back here. Do we get one build up here of our own? Kuhar doesn't really attempt to win that ball. He's got to show a little bit more heart than that, doesn't he? Wait, wait, wait one minute. Is that who I think that is? Could be. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Is that a dear Ben Solush from our past club? I think at Ashdod, it might have been at Maccabi Tel Aviv. I have to double check that. I can't remember what position he played or anything, so it's going to be a bit tough for me to remember. Instead of pointing back, why don't you get back, bud? Mm, mm. How that ball comes back to him, I have no idea. The highlight continues. Shirabi's on a card. He's got to be careful here. Hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Where's that guy at? It is. It is the guy that we had. So he was at Maccabi Tel Aviv, and it looks like Red Bull purchased him from 850. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I, I didn't... He was one of the young players we had at Maccabi Tel Aviv that was actually pretty decent that I, I did like. We're making changes at halftime, though. We got a lot of cards out here. Mantle, just not performing. He is. Mantle is struggling, guys. He keeps coming with me wanting a new contract. And, uh, bud, you're not going to get one if you keep playing like this. We're definitely under pressure. Mantle not, not being the best out there for us. Kaloon had a good match in the last one. Doesn't show up today, does he? Uh, been terrible out there. Sorted out. Goodness gracious, guys. Uh, Kaloon, you're you're done for today. Filinelli's coming on. Uh, pause one second, guys. I do apologize. My dog uh, was uh making some noise out there. Uh, I'm bringing Akuna on for Steve as well. So we've made two changes already. Um, let's see if we can get anything else out of it. I believe this is the tactic that, that, that might turn it around for us. I, I just we've just got to get going. We've got to learn it. Obviously, it's just the second match we've or third match we've played with it, but we've got a little bit of an opportunity here. Vanoli's got space, plays it back to Pays. He's got to make those, man. He's got to make them. We're, we're, we're that that's our best opportunity. Best opportunity of the match. And he absolutely butchers it. Vanoli's came in and made a big impact in the match already, hasn't he? Okay. Card is about to be shown. No booking. Okay, never mind. Kuna, bud. Come on. All right, that's fine. Uh, we're going to tell uh, Mantle to calm down. He He's... Calm down. Jesus. Murphy, Mantle. We need you to be good, bud. Don't really have... I mean, we do have, we do have a change on that left-hand side I can make, uh, and that would be David coming in, but... Yeah, the injuries, we've got some injuries, guys, that's that's affecting us in this match. Uh, I think Hope would slot in there right now, usually, but uh, we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, can I can I holler at him again? I can. Awesome. No, I can't. Okay. We'll tell Hope to, to calm down as well, though. He's a little bit nervous. Maybe that'll get him motivated. 
done the reverse effect. It, it messed up a bunch of guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. Uh, I want to go a little bit more positive. That's, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, I don't think we was bad today. It's just we wasn't great, was we? I mean, Hope's not really ready to be playing up top. or He's not ready for a match of this stature, but unfortunately, it's the cards we have been dealt. It's the cards we have been dealt. We've been struggling with strikers all season. Uh, I really want to bring in another one that has some decent uh, decent finish, and if, if we end up staying here, Mantle's beat there. 2-0. That's, that's, that's going to seal the deal, guys. I don't see a way for us to come back from this. But it it is tough. It's it's tough. Beautiful finish. Absolutely sensational. Uh, we're making a final change. Uh, Pays is going to come off. David's coming on for him. I'd like to at least, you know, we could get a goal. That would be, it would make me feel a little bit better in this match. Knowing that we we scored against Red Bull with with a rotated side that's dealing with injuries as well, but it looks like they may go up three nil. They do three nil victory, three nil. Hey guys, if there was a chance we was coming back, it's not happening anymore, is it? I'm not watching it. Not watching that. That's frustrating as hell. Very frustrating. I give Nuzbomber an opportunity. Puts out the 6.2. Dominic puts out a 6.2. Uh, I feel we may, uh, if we stay here the rest of the season, we're going to have to do some different stuff. Uh, I feel like this offseason is another, not a rebuild, but but like, hey, let's get some different guys in. Uh, I complained about Dominic last season. I don't think Dominic is a three-and-a-half star player like I think it says he is. No, he's a three-star player. Uh, I wouldn't mind making a, a an upgrade at center back, uh, probably an upgrade at goalkeep. We need a, we need another striker. I feel like to really, really. Uh, that was disappointing. So going forward, uh, we we've got some stuff to do in the transfer window. We have some money to spend. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to solve all of these problems. This this. Uh, Transfers window when it opens up, but uh, yeah, I, I know of one guy that we could potentially bring in at center back that might would it would be an upgrade. It'd be a massive upgrade, but um, yeah, that that that's that's a bit tough. We're going to go uh, one day. I'm just going to send my assistant to the press conference because we do have a draw at this day right here. See who we get. We have a long gap. So honestly, what I'm thinking, guys, we're not going to end the episode after this draw. Uh, well, we may end this episode after this draw. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens with Sevilla if if they come in with us. We're going to find out this episode for sure uh, and see what happens. If, if they're interested in me, you know, I think we take the job. Uh, I think we've, I think it's just the right move forward. It, it'll be the best thing that we could po possibly do in terms of climbing up that managerial status. I don't think there's going to be a bigger club that we can get a job from. And uh, with the way it's looking at Rapid, this job's not over with yet. You know, there, there's definitely some stuff that needs to happen here. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so we still haven't got it. Uh, just send that to my inbox. I, I'm, I'm waiting, guys. We're eventually going to get to this day right here. You know, when it ticks over finally, hey, still, still wait, still waiting for that draw. There we are. Well, we figured out about the Sevilla. Uh, we're not going to Sevilla, guys. <laughs> oh, a little bit, uh, got a little bit excited about that. That 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 stinks. That, that that does stink. I was interested in that job. I really was. Okay, so well, we're we're still here at Rapid. Uh, that that kind of goes back to what we need. We need now. Now we need to focus on striker. We need to focus on goalkeep. We need to focus on a center back. Uh, maybe we can find some. So there is some teams out here that we don't want. We don't want Bayern Munich. We don't want Atletico Madrid. I don't want Red Bull Salzburg. Really don't. That would be... Okay, Atletico Madrid come off the board. They go up against Lyon. Mm -hmm. Dynamo Moscow. Leipzig. Feyenoord. That'd be fun. Okay. Dynamo Zagreb. Okay. Club Bruges. There we go. Okay. 
Rapid. Okay, who do we not want? Ooh, hey. Don't want Bayern Munich. This is going to be tough. We're going to get I, I, I'm calling it, guys. We're getting Bayern Munich. Told you. Knew it was coming. It looks like our, our Europa League time is over as well. Goodness gracious. That's, that's going to be rough. When does that happen? Mm. Mm. So it's not going to be the next episode. The next episode, we are going to do Reed and Artberg in the um, quarterfinal of the Austrian Cup and then bounce back with uh, the Europa League after that. That's tough. That's a tough draw. And I guess that's the end of the episode since we found out we ain't going to Sevilla. Well, this episode, it had some ups, it had some downs, and, you know, it, it was what it was. Uh, it started out great. We get an interview with a club that's massive. Then we go up against Lille. We, we draw against them, which wasn't disappointing. Then the, the big-time defeat against Red Bull, that was, that was poor. And then the low of finding out we didn't get the job after having a decent interview, so... Yeah. If you enjoyed this one, though, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.